What if you could change the world by changing your perspective of it? Would you? The only real danger that exists is man himself. We are the great danger, and we are pitifully unaware of it. We are the origin of all coming evil. Carl Jung. The world is experiencing difficult times. No matter how one chooses to look at things, or how much of a positive attitude one tries to adopt, there is still a great deal of uncertainty among most people in regards to the future. It is important to keep an eye on what is going on in the world, and see what it is we can do in our lives to protect ourselves, and stay informed at the same time. The German philosopher Johann von Goethe once said, there are none more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. But few who hear the words realize that they are the ones to whom Goethe was referring, for the reality is that every person in the civilized world is enslaved from childhood. They are enslaved in a prison without walls or bars, and so few ever even realize it. But all are enslaved nonetheless. And what the people of the world are enslaved to is a system of perpetual self-generating debt that is created for them wholly by design by private international banking interests. And the people are taught from an early age to just accept this debt because this is just the way things are. But the real reality is that it is not just the way things are, but more the way things have been designed. And all one has to do is glance around them at the state of the world today to realize that though this is the way things currently are, it is most definitely not the way things should be. The most powerful and useful tool a person can ever gain in their life is knowledge. For with knowledge comes wisdom and a deeper understanding, and real truth can be exhilarating because real truth will set you free. If you live in a country that has a Federal Reserve Bank, then the World Bank, a privately run company that is able to legally create money from thin air, is who supplies your country with money, at interest, and you, the individual, is required to pay a tax on your labor to pay off the interest on the government's loan from this private bank. Many people are duped into believing that their taxes pay for infrastructure, and without taxes, there would be no roads or schools, and the country would fall apart. But this is completely untrue. The government has the legal right to coin its own money and control its value, but it does not. It borrows money from a private bank and uses this bank loan to pay for infrastructure, and you are taxed in order to pay off the interest on the loan. Interest, which from a business perspective, is pure profit for the international banksters. However you choose to look at this one thing must be very clearly understood, and that is that each person in the Western world who has a job is forced every year to give away approximately three months worth of wages in taxes, and that tax money goes directly into the pockets of the private individuals who own and run the World Bank. It's one big privately run scam. And if you ever allow yourself to be microchipped and cash money is abolished altogether, which is their plan, then all bills and all taxes will automatically be removed from your account when they are due, whether you actually owe the money or not. And if you complain about the system, well, they can simply turn off your chip. Since all commerce will center around the chip, you will not be able to buy food or pay rent or do anything and there will be absolutely nothing whatsoever you can do about it. And that is their goal, to limit the size of the population on earth and microchip those that are left. Then it's game set and match and total control of the world and everyone in it will be in the hands of international banksters. It's important to understand that control of the global money system has been achieved through control of the global central banking system and that this system is a privately run enterprise. It is a private business that runs for a profit. 
And please also clearly understand, when you control the money supply, you control the government. When you control the government, you control the people. When you control the money supply and the flow of information, you control the government, you control the people, and you control everything they know and everything they believe to be true. When you do it globally, you control all. It's that simple. During World War II, every country on both sides of the conflict was financed by the very same private bankers who lent out every dollar these countries used to finance their war effort at interest. In the ensuing years, the ordinary people from both sides saw great hardships and suffering. And during the fighting, there were heavy casualties among all the peoples involved. World War II cost over 50 million lives. And when it was over, each country that had participated was left with a huge debt to the banks. And it was always the people who paid the price through increased taxes, longer hours, and poorer working conditions. And who benefited? For international bankers, there is nothing more profitable than war. And so when it is taken into account that these same international bankers now control all the major media, have ties to all the major oil cartels. Lewis Thomas McFadden said, the Federal Reserve Banks are one of the most corrupt institutions the world has ever seen. There is not a man within the sound of my voice who does not know that this nation is run by the international bankers. Alan Greenspan, former head of the Federal Reserve System, FRS, said, After the gold standard was abolished in 1933 as a solid backing for our monetary system, the conspirators behind the scene made the FRS banking system as a means of unlimited expansion of credit. In the absence of the gold standard, there was no way to protect savings from confiscation through inflation. Deficit spending is simply a scheme for the hidden confiscation of wealth. Gold stands in the way of this insidious process. It stands as a protector of property rights. This is where we are today. Think about it. The people of the world need to realize their own potential and wake up from the dream they're living in. Forget what you are told and trained to you by the TV because it's a lie. TV is there to train people what to think and how to act. End of list. It is nothing more than a tool of propaganda that has successfully brainwashed 95% of the Western world by feeding people manufactured news, disinformation, and by giving people an utterly false perception of the world and of their relationship to each other. Turn your TV off and leave it off. After even a month of no TV, you will be surprised at how much better and healthier you feel. We live in a world where 2% of the population controls 98% of the global resources, while the other 98% of people are left to compete against each other in order to gather some small fraction of the other 2% that is left to them in order to support their lives and their families. One of the biggest keys to this and other issues is that we work to change our perception of what is truth and what is not. In the end, it seems there will be two paths for humanity. One where we numb out and merge with machines, which have the potential to get us lost in a worse slave system than we currently have. The second path seems to be a mass awakening where we choose as individuals to cultivate love, connection, and care for the environment as part of our core purpose. The choice is yours.